Hello and welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 293. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo, and I'll be flying solo this week because, well, everyone is busy at conventions or with their friends and loved ones while I'm here doing this alone. Well, anywho, let's start off with the first news. And with any good way to start off is with to have a hearty breakfast. And what do you usually have for breakfast? Well, for me personally, I'll just have some nice toast bread and cereals. And if you're like me, um, there's something cool in Mexico. And it seems that um, the good people in Mexico will have pony team cereals. That's cool. That's awesome. Um, I'm not 100% sure who's the company that's doing all of this, but it seems that um, the good people in Mexico will have um, Pony Team Apple Blast or, let's see, uh, Twilight Sparkle Corn Flakes. <laughs> um, I-, I think it could be Kellogg's that's doing this, but the box doesn't really say who are the people that are doing this. Um, it says Great Value, but usually Great Value comes from the local or the chain store. Um, by that I mean if you have a Walmart, you have your generic Walmart brand cereals and whatnot. So I'm not 100% sure. If you guys do know who made this cereal, do let me know because I'm curious to know who are those people who are innovative to do such things. Like if you're really a pony fan, you'll probably get the whole set and keep the box or something like that. But in all honesty, I got no idea. There are only three boxes from what I can tell here. Apple Jack's Apple Blast, Twilight's Corn Flakes, and Rainbow Dash's Azu. Oof, I got no idea how to even say that word. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try because I might embarrass myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anywho, usually when you open the cereal boxes, you get a price inside like the hidden decoder ring or those um, CD-ROMs about stuff. You, you remember those, right? Back in the days, they used to have those, right? And you know how you get those quote-unquote toys or presents? You usually mail them through the mail. Like, that's a foreign concept these days because everything is done via emails now or everything's bought via Amazon Prime or something like that. So... This concept of mailing things is very foreign for the newer age people. Why I'm bringing this up is because it seems that Zazzle is kind of creating pony stamps. So that's cool. Uh, let's see here. They have a variety of stamps here from um, $23.15 to... I'm scrolling down a bit and looking... Yeah, $23.50, but now they're all from Season 4 to Season 1. Sorry, no, my bad. It's from Generation 1 and Generation 4. So those are the stamps that are available now. And I think a stamp here is, what, about twenty-three fifteen. But if you use the offer code ZBIC SAVINGS, you'll get 20% off. If you're a stamp collector, probably you'll be interested in getting them. Uh, it seems that they're a 49 cent stamp for $33.50. Oof, that's pricey. Um, yeah, if you guys are into the whole stamp collecting thing and also, uh, what you call this, a pony fan, this Venn diagram of awesomeness is for you, I guess. I'm not 100% sure how... This is going to work for you now. But but still, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. So if you are a collector of stamps, this would be awesome for you. And if I'm not mistaken, they also have Starlight in this one. Um, Do they? Uh, Let's see. Do they have now Starlight? Because all I can see here is they have even the movie pony, uh, Queen Novo. She's in here in her sea pony form with... Uh, sea Pony Fluttershy, and that's cool. And talking about Queen Novo, uh, if you guys are interested in getting the My Little Pony Blu-ray and DVDs, they're up now for pre-orders on Amazon. 
and it seems that they will be shipping them on January the 9th. Or is it available on January the 9th? I'm not 100% sure. Ah, yes. Available on January the 9th of 2018. If you can't wait, there's a digital version that will come out on December 19th. That's like what? Um, 10 days away from this recording? So, wait. If this is 10 days away from the recording and this were to come out, you know what? Uh, it'll be one week after this episode comes out. So, yay! That'll be awesome. I can't wait. But besides that, it's going to be there. And like we mentioned before, they have things like deleted content, exclusives, behind the scenes, I think. I'm not 100% sure. So it's worth the buy if you enjoy the movie or if you didn't watch the movie in theaters. So this is your chance. There's the DVD version. There's the Blu-ray slash DVD combo pack. And I see one here that they have all three. DVD, Blu-ray, digital. Um, I think uh, Starstream once told me that he buy the physical copy of the My Little Pony soundtrack and he also got a digital copy for it. So I think that's how it works. So yay if you buy from Amazon. And yeah, it's all there on the links in the show notes below. So that's going to be awesome. <laughs> and you guys remember there's this one scene where Starlight appeared in the movie. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. It was, she was with her best friend, um, Trixie. But talking about Starlight, somebody had to ask Josh Heber about her. And the question was, where were Starlight's parents when she was young? Or did she even exist or whatever it is? Or did they even write them into the story? And Josh Heber's answer to the fan on the Twitter is, that uh, she was a latchkey kid, uh, meaning that she was kind of left alone to her own devices, no parental supervision, uh, similar to what Scooter Lewis until the novel kind of portrayed that she lived with her aunt or something like that. But yeah, she is your um, generic anime character, uh, teenager who lives alone with no parents, or have parents, but they are away on vacation or away on business trips. You know, those generic animes with their harems and whatnot. Yeah, so Starlight is that. But instead of applying that to whatever anime trope there is out there, um, she decided to study hard and master the evil powers of magic to take cutie marks away and build her own town. Aha! No, but seriously, Starlight here is a kind of a... How do I put this? Kind of a hit canon theory by Josh here because nothing is kind of set in stone. He just says that uh, they never did anything about it. Like There's none in the script that says that, okay, um, Starlight's parents are gone or whatever it is. It's just him saying that this is what he thinks the character's parents are. And you know what? I would like to see Starlight's parents because we gotten most of, well, I think we gotten all of the main six parents. Now it's Starlight's turn, Trixie's turn. It'll be interesting to see some of the secondary characters' parents now because with us as fans, we would love to see our favorite character's backstory. Yes, especially Spike. We, we need to know. Uh, we do know that he came from an egg in Cantalart, and that's about it. Beyond that, we got no idea. I would really love to know about his parents. Uh, but other than that, that's the news for this week. It's nothing new, it's nothing fancy, it's just me alone trying to at least fill in a kind of quote-unquote long episode for you guys. So, eh, I, I hope you enjoy it. But anywho, um, let's head on to the next topic, and that's what have I been doing with my week. So, mm, how that was. If I remember right, this week has been pretty slow. But what I've been doing is I've been playing a bit of Final Fantasy X, the HD remake on the PlayStation 4. And I've quote-unquote completed it. Um, 
And what I mean by quote unquote is that I've reached until Braska's final Aeon and it's kicking my ass. I cannot, for the life of me, get through to the second form of Jet. And I, I know you need to grind and stuff, but um, the game is a bit repetitive at points where it makes you kind of want to quit the game. And so for now, I have put it aside and played other games in my library. Um, I remember having Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite and the three new DLC characters came out recently. So I decided to, to try and play that one. And yeah, out of the three, Venom is kind of the um, bomb. He's awesome. He looks good and he's simple to use. So yeah, Venom is the clear winner out of the three. Other than that, honestly, nothing really. I mean, uh, that's about it for my week if I'm trying not to stretch it any further. So yeah, um, you know what? I'm just feeling in time. So let's head on to the end. Uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And personally for me, I am at Norman Sanzo. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvilleLife.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. And uh, we just started this, Coffee.com. For you guys who don't know, Coffee is the quote-unquote new way to support your your favorite online producers or contributors or content creators. Um, what it does is like you're essentially buying a person a coffee. Um, every support is at $3 minimum, but the way they do it is every support is at a $3 minimum, but you can increase it by one. So if you would like to support me two coffees, so that's like three dollars times three, so that makes it six. So essentially, if you want to spend uh, ten coffees on me, please do. That would be like what thirty dollars. But still, if you think my content is worth thirty dollars, please do. There won't be any differences between Patreon and Coffee. Uh, everything will still be the same in terms of how content is delivered. So. With every support, you'll get early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lurker Cat, Nemjo Katorius, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, and also Mark. Thank you guys for the awesome support. You have been really, really awesome. Like, heads off to you guys. Thank you. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo, and do join us next week for another amazing and fun episode of the MBS show. See ya!